very welcome to this new spiritual page. This spiritual page is the third Sunday of the ordinary time and it speaks about Matthew chapter 4 verse 12 to 23. Matthew chapter 4 verse 12 to 23. Matthew's gospel. This is Matthew's gospel. Matthew's gospel is the crucifix. So, from chapter 1 to 7, God the Father gave a plan the cross to Jesus. Jesus, when he comes on earth, will have to love the cross and realize the plan of the Father. This is the plan of the Father. Matthew chapter 1, 2, 7. 1 to 7. Oh, don't forget this. Don't forget this part. This part is a wood of the cross also. And it is very important because Jesus will hang there. Okay? So, the wooden cross. We are in Matthew chapter 4. We are at the beginning. We are here. Chapter 4, verse 12 to 23. It will be here in this part of the wood. Okay, here in the part 2. Part two of Jesus, part two of me, of you, part one, my head, part two, my heart, the heart of Jesus. The program of the Father in the head, and now the program of the Father in the heart. The heart is fresh up. So, in the second part, in the heart of the wooden cross, in the heart of the wooden cross here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sacrament. Seven sacrament. So, sacrament number two, reconciliation. So we are on this two. This chapter two is the reconciliation. Jesus has to welcome the program of the Father and also welcome this bar because it is there that it would be hanging on. Okay? Now that's important today to understand this. Okay, so we are on the part two, the part of the heart, and we have today with the passage number four and number five. Passage, two passages, two passages. Passage, passage 4, passage, passage 4, verse, verses 12 to 17. 12 to 23. 
12 to 17 is the passage. Okay? And at the passage number 4, 2, 2. Passage number 5 here is there also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in your belly. Uh, first one, sacrament of baptism, sacrament of the heart, reconciliation, sacrament number three, confirmation. The confirmation, the sacrament of the Holy Spirit who says, who says or speaks, Abba belongs, okay? The wind that comes out from your mouth. Okay, sacrament of confirmation, but today we are the fourth pastor. The passage number four is at the level of the womb. The level of the food. The level of the Eucharist. You eat and that's also for you mothers, the place where you have your children. Okay? So that the place of this sacrament of the Eucharist is focusing on the food and the children. Food and children, both of them. Understand your church, understand the spirituality of Jesus, okay? And the passage number five, that will be verse 18 to 25, 18 to 23. They forgot, they did not add the two, 24 and 25, but I will add them when I read them. I will read them also for you to understand that it is about the anointment of the sick. The sacrament number five is the sacrament of the anointment of the sick. So, anointment of the sick, there you will find there somebody who is sick and Jesus who will anoint, and Jesus who will anoint many people. So we are here, number two, that's a number, uh, series number two, section number two of the wooden cross, and the heart, the heart, the sacrament of reconciliation, and we are on the passage number four about the Eucharist. Wow! It's very interesting when you take, the, take your Bible and the passage of the Sunday, you reflect on your Sunday passage today, the third Sunday of ordinary time. It's interesting to know what you are looking for. So, we are looking for reconciliation, we are looking for the sacrament of the Eucharist, and we are looking for the sacrament of the anointment of the sea. Oh, listen, catch how Jesus wants to tell us through the Gospel of St. Matthew. Okay, Jesus begins his ministry for reconciliation. Jesus will start teaching what to do. Okay, that's the reconciliation. Now, when Jesus heard that John had been arrested. He withdrew from Galilee, the north. He left Nazareth 
and made his home in Capernaum by the lake. Jesus came and established himself, lived close to the lake, in the territory of Zebulun and Naphtali, so that what had been spoken to the prophet Isaiah might be fulfilled. Okay, watch now what is coming up. How the Father God is presenting Jesus, the sacrament of the Eucharist. Jesus, what will you be Jesus in the sacrament of the Eucharist and for you? What do you receive when you receive Jesus in the sacrament of the Eucharist? Okay, you catch? Okay, let us see it. So, Isaiah speaks like this. Land of Zebulun. Land of Naphtali, on the road by the sea across the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentile. The Gentiles? Those who don't know about Jesus, those who are sinners, okay? People who sat in darkness. In the dark, in the night. People who sit in the night, sinners, don't have the light, okay? Who sat in the dark, have seen a great light. So Jesus, Matthew present to Jesus and present to us what is Jesus for us. He is the light that is coming in the darkness, in the darkness of our sin. Okay? In the darkness of our sin. When you are a sinner, imagine you are the most of sin, you are completely dark. If you welcome Jesus, if you reconcile with Jesus, who is very pure, who give, give us, give us the, the Eucharist, his blood and body, we will see a great light. So, the program on the cross, on the cross here, G God wants Jesus to be the light of the world. To be the light of the world. And for us, when we receive the sacrament of the Eucharist, He wants us to be the light of the world. And for those who sat in the region and the shadow of death. Those who sat in the shadow of death has down a great light as dawn, has come out like in the morning at 5.30 in the morning. Okay? The light is coming up and you see clear around. From that time, Jesus began to proclaim, repent. Ah, to receive Jesus, there are two ways, the Eucharist and repentance. John the Baptist presented the baptism, the sacrament of welcoming the spirituality of Jesus, and when he told, repent, oh, look here, repent for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Okay. You catch now, what is this number two? In the Our Father prayer. In the Our Father prayer, number two is 
Number one is, holy be your name. Thank you, Lord, for my name, Richard, baptized. Okay? Number two, your kingdom come. Return. If you become a Catholic, you will have to purify your heart to live according to what Jesus is saying. Amen? That is the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of the heart. Okay? So, it's important to catch this because you will love your sacrament. Okay, so we are now, we have finished now the verse number 17. So we will go now on verse 18, who is the number 2, according to the heart, and the passive number 5, the sacrament number 5, which is the anointment of the sick. It's important to, for you to understand that the Gospels, the Gospels, the four Gospels are built according to the spirituality of Jesus and Jesus gave us his spirituality, the Our Father, and seven sacraments. They are the key. The Our Father prayer and the seven sacrament are the key to unlock the door, to unlock the passages. Okay? So the seven sacrament, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, they are the keys, the sacrament are the keys to understand the passages. Okay, so, Passage number five. Passage at the level of the genital. The number five, the sinner. Okay? So, the sacrament, of, the anointment of the sick. Will we find somebody who is sick there who will be anointed? Check. Okay, let me read for you. Jesus called his first disciples, okay? As he walked by the Sea of Galilee, as he walked by the Sea of Galilee, started this the previous passage with Jesus come and settle his home, go close to the lake of Galilee. As he walked, by the Sea of Galilee, he stopped two brothers. Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother. Simon Peter, Simon called Peter by Jesus, okay, and Andrew is called casting net into the lake for they were fishermen casting their net to catch fish okay for they were fishermen and he said to them follow me he said to Peter and, and Andrew Peter and Andrew Come, uh, follow me and I will make you fish for people. So Jesus met two people, Andrew and Peter, and he found that there was something not according to the plan of the Father. Not according to the seven sacrament. Jesus had to suggest them to follow the seven sacrament. So, 
instead of fishing fish, you will fish for men. You understand? You catch now that Jesus wanted to transform simple fishermen in good shepherd into good shepherd into fisher of men not fisher of fish fisher of men fisher that will make us people saints you see that is the anointment of Peter and anointment yeah, the in, in Peter and Andrew, there is one anointment. Fisherman to catch fish will become fisher of man to make sinners saint. Okay? And for Peter, for Simon, he met Simon and Andrew. But Simon, he called him Peter. He made a change, an additional change to his name. You see? To see that when you receive the anointment, when you receive the anointment of the sick, when the priest comes to your house, and a sinner or somebody who is dying need the sacrament of the anointment of the sick. He comes with the reconciliation first. And with the reconciliation, the holy presence of Jesus is coming in. Okay, you see that this is on the sacrament of reconciliation. Okay? So, let us continue, let, let me continue, read the, the last part. Okay, for people immediately, they left their nets and followed him. So, immediately, they reconciled, they welcomed the plan of, of Jesus. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets, and he called them to be fisher of men, not fisher of fish, Okay, spiritual healers, spiritual catchers. Okay, that's the change from their life. He proposing to them. And immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Okay. After this, verse 23. 23 to 25, 23 to 25, that is the continuation of the sacrament of the anointment of the sick. Let us see. Jesus went to Galilee teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness among the people. So, his fame spread throughout the Syria, and they brought to him all the sick, anointment of the sick, okay? All the sick, those who were afflicted with various diseases and pains, demoniacs, epileptics, and paralysis. Paralytics and Jesus cured them. Okay? 
And great crowds followed him from Galilee, the Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and from beyond the Jordan. They were coming and following Jesus. They were coming and making the reconciliation of, their, of themselves to, to the program of the Father, to the spirituality of Jesus, the spirituality of the seven sacraments. God bless you. See you next time.